Okay, I promise I didn't trade in the CX-50. <laughs> this is my loaner. This is a 2024 Mazda CX-30. I have a feeling it is the Premium Plus Turbo, but I don't know uh, for sure what trim it is. But in this regard, of course, um, the other car is still undergoing some surgical procedures, so they gave this to me for a night. And with that, I have to say, I've enjoyed my time with this car. Um, you know, the CX-30, you see them around, you kind of look down on them because, you know, why didn't somebody go with the CX-5 or something along that sort? And I have to say, the CX-30 is a pretty decent fit for a lot of people. For one, it's very spacious for the driver. I'll explain a little bit more uh, regarding the uh, room of the other portions of the vehicle. Also, it's comfortable driving and then with that, easy to drive. It also does not have a lot of reduced visibility, so it is pretty nice. So with that being said, of course, with the CX-30 being around a little bit around, around a little bit longer, um, quality measures are not necessarily as impactful. Um, B pillars are aligned, which is what was an issue with my CX-50. The trims here, they are aligned perfectly with the wheel wells, which they are also, mine are getting replaced. And actually the reason why I have this is because they ordered one for the wrong side. I honestly thought that was damage at first. <laughs> But with that, it's actually lined up the right way. So in that case, uh, um, that's fine. And the body style is pretty sleek. I'm not going to lie. It's a sleek looking little small SUV. Now, granted, um, the CX-30 uh, does have a little bit of a, you know, a smaller tire. So in that case, going off road, I would be a little bit more nervous about this one. Um, so in that regard, of course, erring on the side of caution, I don't expect people would be going crazy with this vehicle, but of course there are a few select people that would do so. Standard all wheel drive. So in this case, it does have the iActive all wheel drive system in which of course, uh, does a very good job in torque vectoring if it needs to. And with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the trunk space. You know, it is adequate for somebody who maybe is like a, um, a single person, or in this case, just starting a family. Held my groceries just fine. I actually had to go pick up groceries in this. And uh, with that, it was able to, you know, hold what it needed to. It does, it is nice because you don't have to purchase an external cargo cover. Uh, it already actually has one latched to the inside of the trunk. So in that regard though, this may only be for certain models. So I'm not quite sure, please don't quote me on that. But I'm seeing a lot of like smaller SUVs have this, which actually saves you a pretty decent amount of money. Getting into the back seat, uh, with that I will say, is it very comfortable? Not so much. Um, with that, based on where I'm sitting over there, uh, you can see that the leg room would be pretty compromised. This is my driving height. But with that, you know, if I did move the seats up a little bit, it's not intrusive or uncomfortable. It's just, you're gonna have somebody who's up there stretching their legs nicely and then you're going to have me back here who's probably going to be pushed up against the back of the seat granted short trips not necessarily a problem longer trips however i sense that it may be a little more cumbersome to sit back here but not at all intrusive or uncomfortable i'm going to go ahead and pull this back here to give us some light but in that case, you do have rear air vents back here. And then with that, I don't feel any USB A or C ports back here. But in this regard, of course, smaller vehicle. And with that, I find that most people who purchase maybe a CX-30 are looking for something economical within budget. And then additionally, also SUV-like with the ability to do certain things like off-roading um, or something along that sort. So with that being said, this is the back seat. Not super fun back here but manageable. And with that, of course, if I were to be by myself, I would, you know, have probably have this over my CX-50. But considering my partner and I, we do go on a lot of adventures together. Something a little bit bigger and more comfortable was um, ultimately found. But this is overall a very, very, very pleasant vehicle to be interacting with. Moving into the front seat, you know, just to give a bigger or a better, uh, just to give a better analysis of the comfort of this vehicle, the front seat, I'm sorry, I just had to pause for a second. There's asymmetry between the door panels. That one has you pulling from like a different vantage point than this one. There's asymmetry between the door panels. 
That is so freaking weird. I just realized that. Okay, so this one actually pulls like this, whereas the other one actually you kind of like pull with the inside of your fingers. That really triggered my OCD for a second. Holy crap. So <laughs> getting into the passenger seat. Now, granted, of course, I had the seat pushed up a little bit so I can get into the back seat, which, of course, again, kind of is a reminder that the back seat room in this is not very good. But in this case, I'm still comfortable. Now, granted, of course, longer trips, this does feel a little bit more enclosed. It kind of feels a little more car-like. And honestly, if I were to uh, have my driver hit something head-on, I probably would die. Uh, because with that, it's just I'm sitting pretty close to the dashboard. And also, I'm pretty sure I would have broken legs or maybe no legs at all if uh, we got hit hard enough. So in this case, putting the seat back to where I probably would sit in the passenger seat. Now, I have leg room, but my backseat passenger does not. So with that, let's just hope that uh, the person sitting behind you, you don't like them. With this regard, though, this does have, of course, similar features to that of my CX-50. All of this pretty much looks the same, including the cup holders under the dash. Mazda, can you please fix that for your next generation of vehicles? But climate controls are all the same. The only thing I've noticed, though, is that this only has sport mode. It does not have the My Drive option like my CX-50 and the CX-5s do in the CX-90s. Now, granted, I kind of tried to figure out if it has it. I don't think it does. But for those that are looking at taking this off-road, we do have a saving grace. Going around to the driver's seat. Oh, it's so nice to see a line B pillars. Mine are gonna look like that soon. I'm telling you, when I had my car, or when I first bought it, this B pillar was like out here. And like, literally it was so misaligned that I like kind of complained about it. <laughs> I'm not that bitchy, I promise, but I can be. Okay, so getting into this side, asymmetry at its finest. Now I pull like this, I'm really glad I got the CX-50. They both <laughs> have the same handle for the door panel. Um, but with that, um, with this particular car, the driver's seat is actually really, really nice. You feel comfortable in here. It was a very, I have a feeling for me, at least my interpretation of this, it is a very driver focused vehicle. You're not gonna carry a lot of others in this. This is something to get you to work and back. And also with that, if you have a job that requires, or requires traveling or something along that sort, excellent vehicle to do this in. In terms of the dashboard, um, everything is the same as my CX-50, even the layout and such, fuel economy. Um, in this regard, though, the only difference is, is the steering wheel has the, uh, the, lane the lane keeping thing here versus mine does not. So I don't have like the lane centering option on my car, but I actually prefer it because sometimes it can be really intrusive. Now, going on to this side, it does have a pretty nifty 360 degree camera. I'm not gonna lie though, I got really confused when I was using it. But in this regard, um, as you can see here, uh, it did help me parallel park earlier, but it is a little bit confusing as I personally am not used to having that particular feature. Um, with that being said though, uh, this is the 2.5 liter turbo four with the six speed automatic. Not gonna lie, driving characteristics of this are really, really nice. Um, I do have a video of me driving the vehicle, so you'll get a better interpretation there. Now, the saving grace I was talking about earlier is this particular button that looks like it's climbing like water. Um, that is actually like a traction control assist for times where you get stuck. So it does have something similar. I don't know if it's the My Drive, but in this regard, it does have traction control assist for those that may be getting stuck in the mud, or in this case, need to wriggle their way out in snow. It also does have a uh, view, parking sensors, and then with that, of course, down there, you're actually able to check and set your seat memories, whereas normally they would be on the door panel somewhere or incorporated into the window switches. Even Mercedes, for example, on their door panels, actually their seats are controlled mostly by what's on the door card. So in that case, of course, Mazda decided to put it down here, which is a little interesting, but with that, you know, livable. Screen is the same uh, with that, just a little bit more tilted and curvy uh, than the CX-50. Um, so with that, it basically acts the same exact way. I'm able to check tire pressures and such. 
this one does have the garage connectivity so if you ever needed to like set your uh remotes to that you could and then also with that instead of it having a moon roof it has a sun roof and so it still is nice i like the fact that this one um it looks like you may be able to get it hold on let's see you may be able to get it all the way back let's just verify and see how far it goes yeah, so this one goes actually further than that of my CX-90. And um, with that, I do like... Oh, I need to actually turn that back on. <laughs> um, what was it called? The CX or CX-50 that I have doesn't go as far. Uh, I feel like in an emergency, this one would be easier to climb out of. But in this regard, I mean, overall, pretty comfortable. Decent vehicle. I like the way it works. Um, and with that, honestly, the feel of it's pretty similar, but of course the CX-50 is built on the chassis of this particular vehicle, uh, the CX-30. So in this case, uh, they are going to behave similarly, but I did notice that this one's more playful. The CX-50 is a little bit more rigid and stern. So in that case, of course, uh, uh, the characteristics of each car are a little bit different. But in this case, though, I hope you guys like this review. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to reach out and uh, we'll talk again. Have a good one.